Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Trisha Paytas and Moses because they took to social media and they wanted to address some rumors and clear things up. People have literally been just spreading so many rumors about Trisha in regards to her and her love or dislike of animals because she recently got a new puppy. So people are just taking all of everything she's ever done with any animal in her life and just blowing it way out of proportion. And I thought we should talk about it. So if you're interested in hearing more about that drama, then make sure that you keep on watching. <laughs> you're not caught up on the tea, Trisha Paytas got a new dog. And this dog is really, really cute. It's a Pomeranian, I think. I don't really know dog types. I'm like a cat person, so I don't really know, like, I can't look at a dog and be like, that's a that, or that's a that. I know like a lab, and like, I know like a bulldog, and I know like little things. I think that, I think it's a Pomeranian, and I'm not sure. She got a little dog, and people have been tearing her up about it. They've been saying that like, well, you gave away your last dog, and well, doesn't Moses, you made Moses get rid of all his cats girl and like all this stuff and it's been like really kind of crazy because like she just got like a puppy and like people were just really attacking her like she can't even get a dog or an animal now without being attacked and it's really kind of weird so Moses and Trisha took to social media and I don't know what platform this uh, this was I got it off of Deaf Noodles Instagram free Deaf Noodles justice for Deaf Noodles we love them so much if you're not caught up on this drama Deaf Noodles has been suspended from Twitter yes I'm very very upset about that. <laughs> Okay, I get all of my tea from Deaf Noodles. Most of my tea, a lot of my tea comes from Deaf Noodles. He seems like such a great guy. He researches so much and really like keeps you posted on all the tea, not just the YouTube tea, but like the musician tea, the athlete tea, the actor tea, the singer tea, all the tea. Deaf Noodles keeps you caught up on all that tea, girl. And he is in Twitter jail. I don't know what he did to get in Twitter jail, but I am super upset by it. And I'm highly offended that he's in there. And we need to free Deaf Noodles. Justice for Deaf Noodles, okay? Anyway, he posted on his Instagram a little clip. I'm gonna roll it for you guys so you can see it. It's just like, it's making it even a bigger thing than what it really is. Yeah. Not, but like, it's funny because it all started on the H3 subreddit and they found, oh. like, they found like pictures of cats from like 2013, 2015, <laughs> like when I was at my friend's house, not even my cats. And then, um, where the water museum is, there's an alley and there's lots of kittens and cats. It's just like in Inglewood, people just feed the cats and there's alley cats. So they would come to my garden, I would feed them. And then, so when we met, when we were hanging out, um, I, there was no kittens even yet. And I remember because it was on Easter. Mm -hmm. One of the alley cats had kittens on Easter. That's why I remember that. Mm -hmm. And then I felt bad, so I put them in the museum. Like, there's a little kitchen area and there's a small room. So I brought the kids and I just put them there. And then um, I would go back, feed them, feed the mother. And then all those kittens were adopted. And then there was another alley cat that had enough, more kittens. And they did the same thing, but they actually stayed kind of outside. But I fed them. And most of them were adopted too. So there were like 10 kittens that I fostered that were adopted. And the last two, the last three ones were Snow, River, and Rain. And Snow, Snow is with one of your makeup artists. She has a daughter. So I always like to give kittens to people that have kids. And they're like best friends. My contractor has a kitten. They're best friends with his daughter. And then um, River and Rain were adopted by then the producer of H3 podcast. So he has the last two cats because um, I wanted them to stay together because they were the last two. So he got both of them. And yeah, I never had cats leave with me because like my living situation is separated from the museum. So I could have them in the museum, but I'm allergic to cats. If I touch a cat and touch my face or anything, my eyes will like swall get swollen and each for like days and weeks so it was hard because i was like every time i touch a cat i have to go wash my hands with soap 
and they always want you to like touch them and pet them and sit on you and get on you and i couldn't really do that like i would let them once in a while but i just felt bad because i couldn't give them like the affection and care that they wanted and anything and everything i mean they bullied us about every possible subject there is so at some point you just become numb to it and you don't respond like it is like just like it's not a joke but it's like a joke at this point because it's like moses's cats and i'm like oh my god one thing that I've seen so much on a social media is how Trisha made Moses get rid of his cats. Trisha doesn't need to have a dog because Trisha made Moses get rid of his cats. And I think that you heard it from the horse's mouth right here, girl. That is not what happened. And I think that like listening to Moses, this is like something that kind of hits home with me because my mom, my mom used to feed like a lot of stray cats that we had in our neighborhood when I was growing up, like in high school and stuff. She had like this, like a couple friends and literally like these friends would go out and they'd buy like big bags of food and like canned food and wet food and like all this stuff. And they would would go out behind this sweet tomatoes that was like near our like house or whatever and they would go there and there was like like so many cats for like 50 100 cats like so many cats and they would feed these cats and it was something that my mom really enjoyed doing she really enjoyed going out to feed these animals every night and like she would like see the same ones and some of them would be nice to her and be, she would see them have kittens and all this stuff and one thing that they always did was they would like if they saw they would try to at certain points when they could they would try to capture some of them and take them to get fixed and, and spayed and neutered and help them like find homes like put them up for adoption places and get them shots and stuff like that so they were like taking these like animals that were like abandoned like stray animals and like working to find them good homes and it sounds like that's exactly kind of what Moses was doing so Moses was like from what I understand is that they used to like feed the stray cats or whatever and then one like he saw that one of the mom cats had kittens and so he brought them back to his like museum or apartment or something and he like fed them and found homes for them and all of that so how does that turn into Trisha making him give his cats up, girl? That doesn't make any sense. He was just doing a good thing. They weren't his cats. And that's the thing, people do that. It's a thing that people do. They'll get stray animals and they'll get them fixed and they'll get them like their shots and all this stuff and they'll put them up for adoption. I know like four people on Facebook doing the same thing right now. But no, 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 no. If Moses does it, Trish is making Moses give up all his cats, girl. And that is not even what happened. So hearing, like hearing their side of the story, it just makes so much sense. And it's just like, it's just one of those examples how like people on the internet will take something and they'll read reach so far with it into the cookie jar and they'll just come out with something that's like literally completely like opposite of what even happened so and then and then people some people have brought up Trisha's old dog that she had like the only thing that I have to say about that is that that literally is like a completely different situation the dog that Trisha used to have that now is owned by her sister and her mom and it's like always in their vlogs when they're on the vlogs together is a dog that was given to her by Jason now her ex-boyfriend for a vlog. In case anyone didn't realize, you don't give people animals as gifts if they didn't ask for an animal as a gift. Because here's the thing, you don't know what people have going on in their lives, okay? Dogs require a lot of care. You gotta walk them, you gotta entertain it. There's a lot of energy involved in that. And Trisha, she wasn't ready for all that. She didn't want all that. So to give somebody a dog as a present, it's kind of like, it's like kind of like the worst, low key the worst gift ever that anybody could give anyone. <laughs> like you don't do that. I mean, if the person wants a puppy, once that they've been asking for it and all of that, then it's a great gift, okay? And it's fantastic and you're creating a lifelong friendship between these two people, this, these two people, this animal and this person, and it's beautiful. If the person didn't ask for the animal, then don't give them the animal. It's just as simple as that. So people that are attacking Trisha and saying, well, she, you, you got rid of your dog, blah, blah, blah. she didn't ask for the dog. She did, she couldn't, she felt like she couldn't handle the responsibility of having the dog at that point in her life. And why that is, is literally none of my business and none of anybody else's out there's business except for Trisha, okay? And so what she did was she found it a better home with her sister and her mother. Mother. And that dog is so well taken care of if you see it on these vlogs. It is gorgeous and fluffy and so well taken care of and so, so cute. And so nothing bad happened to the dog either. It's just crazy how people are just because it's Trisha and they want to find something to hate on her for. Now, don't get me wrong. Trisha's done a lot of things to receive a lot of backlash, even as, even as 
you know, even pretty recently with the whole frenemies thing, okay? This whole thing with the cats and her getting the dog and her old dog and stuff is not really one of them. And so, like, we, like, can we just stick, do we have to find reasons to hate people, okay? If you want to hate on Trisha, hate on her for one of the things she's actually done that's been, like, actually kind of wrong, okay? Let's not hate on her for something that, like, you guys are just making up. It's just crazy how, like, the internet works, you guys. And, like, uh, she's such a, she's strong. She is really, really strong for putting up with the internet. That was really interesting how Moses, he said he wants to clear up these rumors because things are getting out of hand. And we've never really heard Moses just clearing the air about things before. So it's really kind of interesting. And, and it's, he's standing by his woman, girl. He is standing by Trisha and he is, you know, defending her and saying, that's not what happened. Like, listen to me. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what happened and there's not going to be any more confusion. So stop coming after Trish and let it be. Lay it to rest because it's not what happened. So I thought it was really kind of nice that Moses stuck up for Trisha in the way that he did and kind of just like cleared the air. And the way that Moses is, he wasn't like angry about it or whatever. He's very just calm, matter of fact. Hey, this is what happened, whatever. And that's it, the end of the story, right? So I thought it was really interesting how he did that. Do you guys see this on my wrist there? I got bit by something. I don't know what it was. I woke up this morning and I had this big old thing on my wrist here and I didn't know what it was. And it's red and this morning it was real red like all around and I don't know what it was girl but that's kind of scary right? That something bit me when I was sleeping? Like where is it now? Where's the thing that bit me? Is it gonna come back and bite me again? <laughs> like I'm, that's the thing about getting bit in your sleep is you don't know where it came from or where it went after. It's like scary the house girl. I don't even know if I want to sleep in my own bed tonight. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of my future videos when they do post. Remember, all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And you can follow me on all of my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's S-H-E-L-B-Y-E, -E, all at Beauty by Shelby. And I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from. So I would love it if you did that but if you're just here to catch up on the Trisha Paytas and Moses drama that's totally cool too girl appreciate your view love you so thank you so much for watching today's video you guys and I will see you in the next one bye guys